have you ever thought how Google Maps is able to tell accurately about the traffic and tells you alternate routes to go to a destination? Well, I'm sure you must have thought about it at least once while you use Google Maps. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to talk about how Google Maps exactly work on telling you the data about the traffic and how it's able to suggest you different routes to go to a destination. So watch this video till the end because it's going to be really interesting. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host Arnav and you are watching Tech Arena and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because I'll be bringing you awesome tech content every day. And also turn on the notifications to get constant updates whenever I post any new video in my channel. So Google Maps is a really great application because wherever we go and whenever we go to a destination where we don't know actually where it is, it helps us a lot in figuring out the ways to go to a place. It's not just about navigating you to a location, but it's also about navigating you efficiently by saving some time of yours. So how is Google able to analyze different routes and say, okay, this route has a lot of traffic, take another route. Basically, it's by a simple process called as crowdsourcing. So crowdsourcing is nothing but sourcing something from a large group of people in order to do something else. So what does Google crowdsource and what it sources from whom? So whenever you try to turn on your Google Maps, it obviously tells you to turn on your GPS, right? So basically, there are two types of people on a road. One will be actively using the Google Maps to navigate to different places and two who will not be using Google Maps but might have had their GPS turned on. So what Google does is to take these GPS data of different people on a particular place and then compile this data in order to analyze where there are a lot of people or a lot of vehicles or not. And based on this data, it says, okay, this route has a lot of traffic, take another route. So to explain you that process in depth will take a lot of time. So I hope you understand how it analyzes where the traffic is right now. The second question is, how is it able to suggest you different routes? So on Google Maps, if you see, you'll be able to select the vehicle with which you are currently traveling at. Either it might be a car or a bike, or you can choose a public transport for which the traffic is not applicable. But hey, if you can choose between car and a bike. Google Maps will analyze all the possibilities to reach a destination. And not only that, it will also analyze the traffic in different routes. And then it finally suggests you two ways. One, the fastest way, and two, the second fastest way. So this is basically how Google Maps works. It analyzes the distance, it analyzes the speed which you are traveling. It also analyzes the other users data around you to know the traffic starts of a place, to calculate the distance and also the time in which you will approach to that particular destination. Anyways, so now you know how Google Google Maps works and tell me your opinion down in the comment section below. How did you think Google Maps actually worked? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always share this video with your friends and navigate your fingers to the subscribe button below. And also hit the like button if you really enjoyed the video. Until the next one, stay home, stay safe, take care and bye bye.